Oh no, the new battle pass is on and I do not have enough money to buy it. How can I manage my expenses? Why is it so expensive? Is there a way for me to actually get things cheaper? Yes, because in the description of this video, you will be able to first download World of Tanglitz directly from the Amazon App Store. And if it's not already done, download Amazon App Store. And when you're done with everything, what you will have the pleasure to do is getting some juicy discounts on any of your purchase all the time during the year. For this one, I'm using an emulator and I got Amazon App Store here. I downloaded World of Tank Blitz from Amazon App Store and now let's see what happens when we click on it and go straight into the game. So we are in the store now and we're going to take a look at this little bundle. It's 54 euros if you use Steam or if you use uh, the regular shop from App Store, etc, etc. But here, when you click on it and decide then to go on buy, something very special will happen. You have the choice between selecting the Amazon coins in order to pay or using the parameter one click and we don't really care about that. We're gonna go for the Amazon coins. We click on obtain and here ho 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 just take a look at the juicy discounts you get. Instead of having them at 55 euros you get them at 45.90 euros. So I think that by now you get it. If you are willing to spend a couple of bucks for Christmas then you should definitely do it on the Amazon app store and most importantly if you are looking to just download everything faster you will find it QR code within the whole length of this ad. Now let's roll the video. <sighs> the joy of Christmas is right around the corner and even if we pretty much already know what we're gonna have to deal with, specifically the new tier 10 tank that Wargaming is implementing, there are some mechanisms that are just copy paste from previous year and I've been asking for five years for Wargaming to do this little gesture that could just show a thank you not from us to them but from them to us. In order for us to understand exactly what I mean, let's take a look at last year's Christmas event. 2021 the concept won't be basically if we take a look at the last trailer you see that you had the possibility of unlocking many many things the main reward being what we call a snow globe snow globe is basically kind of a currency that allows you to enter a contest during which you have one chance and it's guaranteed but you have one chance at winning one of the strongest tank in the game so you saw snow globes and basically this is how it looks like when you unlock one you click on it you use it and bang you have a chance uh, between several tanks to unlock the mighty reward among them the mighty reward of last year being the concept 1b and this year it's going to be the exact same principle but they are probably going to remove one of them them or simply just add the new tier 10 tank. What is the problem with that? Actually, not that much because since they implemented this system, the Christmas event became much cheaper because back in the days, it was something like $500 if you wanted to get the tier 10 reward guarantee. Nowadays, it turned out into a big gamble and if you are lucky enough, you open 10 snow globes and on your 10th one, you are sure you have 100% chances at winning the new tank that Wargaming added. And to be fair with you, you, if you take a look at it like it is right now, it's a pretty good event. Wargaming finally understood that yes, we were a little bit pissed at needing to spend $500 to get something. But even if they changed for that, I feel like they still can upgrade it, at least upgrade it in a good way for the players. And this idea can be summarized in only one sentence. Basically, if from the snow globes, Wargaming removed based on each player's the tank they already own from the available list of tanks that you can unlock in the snow globes, it would be a much better bet. Because it means that if you get yourself a snow globe, you you get a tank guarantee. Of course, in order to do that, they would have to remove a little bit of a free-to-play aspect because during uh, Christmas, you have the possibility of unlocking one snow globe totally for free if you really grind hard during the Christmas event. And it's basically a one chance out of 100 because it's 1% chance to get the new tank from a snow globe. Uh, yeah, that's 1%. Yeah, it allows you to at least, even if it's a small one, get a chance to get it. But what if they changed the odds? Basically, if you have 10 tanks available in this box, in this snow globe box, if you already have in your garage two of them, 
then you reduce the number of tanks to eight therefore you increase the chances of winning every single one of them at the same time because of obviously if they change it to only the main tier 10 tank everyone would get it at least the people that spend money but it would be a nice feature to see that wargaming removes from the snow globes tanks you already own and for me it would just be justice because we have many many players that spend thousands of bucks in this game to unlock all those tanks i'm going to take my example not because uh not because uh, i want to take my example but because that's the only thing for me that comes to mind i unlocked pretty much every single premium this tank has to offer except for uh the two or three last month of release and all the tanks that will be available in the snow globes i already have them except for the new tier 10 in my scenario and if wargaming implemented my idea it would allow me when i unlock the snow globe therefore for free if i grind really hard i will be able on my first snow globe to unlock the new tier 10 guarantee and i know that a lot of people will disagree with this because obviously it's good for pay to win players and it's bad for free to play and it would probably lead to some rent from many many players but just a thank you from wargaming that's all we are asking for and even if they are doing a great job these days, in my opinion, even if I'm a little bit detached uh, from the game right now, but they are still doing nice efforts in order to give us some new tanks, new feature, new mechanism. And on top of that, they are probably going to allow you to get a free tier 7, uh, free tier 7 collectible for the event. It's going to be awesome, right? But if you could just do something for the people that really 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 spent a lot of money because all the tanks available in the snow globes are tanks that are never ever or really it's rarely the case but they are never sold for gold and in a direct offer you always have to gamble for them which means that if you really gamble for all of them when they released it's basically 200 uh, yeah approximately 200 euros between uh, for each tank so it represents maybe two three thousand euros honestly i spent three thousand euros and i would be happy for wargaming to thank me by allowing me to get it on my first snow globe and i would still pay for the snow globe because i do not have time to play the game anymore so yeah this is the only thing i wish they could implement maybe that they will do it for the upcoming uh for the upcoming uh a holiday event because it's not out yet i'm still waiting i don't think we're gonna see something like that and hopefully we will and well if you agree with what i just said tell me in the comments and if you disagree tell me also because i would be curious to have someone that differs from my opinion to know if yes or no my arguments stand or not so hopefully you enjoyed if that's the case feel free to subscribe like and share and personally i'm gonna see you soon for a new video bye